Okay, right now I'm in the access hatch in Columbia. And this is the area right around 2nd and uh, Logos Street. Matter of fact, if you look right down the street here, the gray building with the steeple on is the building where the layout is actually uh, located. And the little building next door is a, uh, let me see if I can pan up here a minute, is the um, manse, we call it, which was the parsonage of the church at one time that we're located in. This is the uh, Foresters here on the corner. And we'll come down. So you'll have to pan back a little bit. Now, you might not see a whole lot of sidewalks and stuff. I'm still working on that. But this here is Oddfellows Hall, which is now the Taste of Styles here in Columbia, 2nd and uh, Logos Street. And there's some houses next door. And there was a church. Uh, one time when I'm modeling, there was a church here at that corner. Uh, right now, that's where the uh, Columbia Fire Police have their building, if you're familiar with Columbia. You cross the alley, and there's some houses along 2nd Street. Okay, I'm just sort of trying to pan back a little bit because I'm in the access hatch. This building here on the corner is it was a convalescent home. Um, it used to be the North Mansion. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Lancaster, uh, the uh, North Museum in Lancaster was built or started by the uh, gentleman who lived in this house. This is a photograph I took up Cherry Street here in Columbia. Uh, that's actually the way it looks. This here is the uh, used to be the, a Methodist church there at the corner of 2nd and uh, Cherry Street. It's now a Vietnamese church. Uh, coming down, we have some of the, the buildings here on 2nd Street. And one of these used to be the original Columbia Hospital. Uh, I'm not sure which building it is. We come down, and there's an alley. This building here was, at one time, I believe, either the convent or the rectory of St. Peter's, but this was so old that it's way back before I modeled these buildings. Uh, the building that is in there in, since the 30s and 40s was a building that sort of resembled this. It looked like a big Victorian building. Uh, this one was, uh, I believe, the convent. It had a, uh, had a fire some years ago. And, of course, the open areas down here will be for St. Peter's Church and for St. Peter's School, which ends about 2nd and Union Street. So that's about where I'm at in Columbia. Um, probably I'll be stopping the buildings along that side of 2nd Street at 2nd and Union and then working the other side of the street. Okay, I'm going to try to get a... a panning video is some of the buildings that you might not see from the front of the layout while I'm in the access hatch. This is looking down 2nd Street from Locust North. We come down Locust Street. This is an umbrella factory. It was a potato chip factory at one time. It's right across the street from the museum. Uh, have some places down here. The Franklin House was uh, a hotel at one time in Columbia. Uh, I believe that was a brewery down here uh, next to the uh, Franklin House as you come down to the uh, toward Bank Alley. Um, this is the back of the Reading Railroad Station that you don't see from the uh, front of the layout. And, of course, here's the train shed. The trains used to have to be turned around, I guess, out around 4th and Manor Street, and uh, the cars had to be backed into the station. Um... So I, I think that's what happened at that, and, and uh, when they brought trains into Columbia along the Reading and Columbia Railroad.